This video is just a quick preview of one of over 200 step-by-step -step percussion lessons included in our Conga Chops membership. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and head over to congachops.com to start your free seven-day trial and check out everything we've got on the site. Now that we have an idea of some of the fundamental figures and exercises that we've also used to help us develop our understanding of the binary and tertiary grids we're working with, let's start to combine them to create some essential language-based solo phrases that we'll use to expand our knowledge of the conga's rhythmic vocabulary. What we're referring to with the term language-based solo phrase as it pertains to conga playing are short, simple phrases based mainly on what we've covered so far, the different eighth note and triplet figures we've worked on, which don't involve any super fast shapes or licks. They're just the bare bones, essential phrases that'll start to allow us to learn how to express ourselves in the Afro-Cuban percussive language. By using the structure provided by the quinto lock and its variations, and combining it with the different figures we've worked on, we'll be able to start to stitch together small phrases to eventually make complete sentences and have a conversation. Remember that although we're providing on-screen notation for each and every example that we work on, it's really just an approximation of what we're playing. So although notation is an incredible learning tool, we want to work on all of this material until we can commit it to memory and eventually until it becomes second nature. This will take a lot of time, discipline, and repetition. But making sure we're building a strong foundation rooted in the tradition of this instrument and its essential rhythmic vocabulary as we've strived to do so far in this course will make everything we play or speak on the drum that much more relevant. So let's start off with a few essential two-bar phrases and then develop them using some of the concepts and techniques that we've talked about in this course. The first one we'll work on is one of the most famous conga solo phrases of all time. It's been used and referenced time and time again by countless conga players, and is the perfect example of the melding of the binary and tertiary grids encompassing the Afro-Cuban percussive language. Now, it was first widely heard and as a result made extremely popular by the one and only Tata Wines on Cachao's Descarga Cubana, which is considered a landmark recording and features percussion solos on virtually every track. We'll analyze Data's conga solo on this track in its entirety later in this course. But for now, let's check out this classic phrase. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now let's work on that one more time a bit faster. One, two, one, two, three, four.
we can hear that this phrase starts off with an open tone phlegm on the last eighth note of the bar on the two side of the clave. And although it works if initiated on the three side, you'll most commonly hear it on the two side just as we played it. So let's work on playing this over a groove. We'll play three bars of tumbao and initiate our phrase on the end of four in the third bar. One, two, one, two, three, four. It's important to note that certain phrases will work better and feel more natural at certain tempos than others. Now, this can be due to an executional caveat if something ends up being too fast to play, or it could be something that feels a bit too sparse at a slower tempo, which is why you'll often hear double time solo phrasing used over slower tempo grooves like the cha cha cha. This phrase, however, tends to work pretty well at medium to medium fast tempos, loosely between 90 and 120 BPM in cut time. That's just something to keep in mind as we continue on in the course. So now that we have a simple two bar phrase, let's look at a couple ways we can expand on it to create a longer phrase. The formula we'll use to construct this longer phrase will be quite simple, and it'll serve as the framework for many of the later phrases we'll develop. We'll start by using a short rhythmic figure, in this case, the first two notes of our quinto lock to anticipate the solo phrase we just worked on. Then we'll play a quinto related offbeat figure and finish it off by using the two bar solo phrase as inspiration or quoting it to come up with our last figure. So feel free to use any subtle ghost tones you like to help you keep time in the spaces between the notes. Let's check it out in two, three clave. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now, if you're interested in learning more about what we do on Conga Chops and how we can help you further your skills, come check us out at congachops.com. We've got an incredible library of step-by-step -step courses and lessons, over 10 hours of exclusive practice loops, hand-picked Spotify playlists for each pertinent course and lesson on the site, and an amazing community forum where you can meet and discuss with other members, as well as get one-on-one -on -one feedback on everything you're working on. Just click the link below to grab your free seven-day trial and see what it's all about. Now, please don't forget to show your support for our channel by giving this video a like, leaving a comment down below as far as what you'd like to see me cover next, and hitting subscribe so you can catch our new videos. I'll see you in the next lesson.